Okay, as Alfred Adler once said, all our childhood experiences stem and derive what we are passionate about. And that explains why I'm really passionate about HIV and finding a cure for it. Growing up in South Africa, I was surrounded by people who were affected by this disease. From the person who sat next to me in my nursery school to my gardener who had a long-standing battle with TB. I thoroughly believe that this is a part of medicine that we need to focus on. And that is why I want to talk to you about HIV. So, as you can see, my maid over here was somebody I grew up with. The first person in 2007 to ever be cured of HIV was Timothy Ray Brown. At the time, this was rather miraculous because before this, we had always thought that HIV was incurable. It, it was the ever-evolving disease. However, as of March 2019, there have been two further patients cured, the London patient and the Dusseldorf patient. We sadly don't know their identities yet, but it's a miracle that they have been cured in the first place. HIV is a disease that attacks the immune system, so it enters white blood cells. As a result of this, very often patients develop lymphoma or leukemia, which are blood cancers. All three of these patients were actually treated for these cancers, and as a result of this treatment became immune to their HIV. So how did this actually happen? HIV is a virus that, if, that invades the immune system cells. By doing this, it enters through the CCR5 protein, Lots of letters, I know. The unique thing about the CCR5 Delta 32 mutation is that it actually prevents the protein from rising to the surface. It is a 32 base pair deletion, which results in a premature stop codon. What that means is basically it's a lock on a door, which prevents HIV from entering your immune system. This mutation played a key role in the treatment of all three patients. When they were treated with a stem cell transplant, what essentially happened is they used a donor with this particular mutation. And so they were cured of HIV as their entire immune system was replaced with cells that did not have the CCR5 receptor. Hence, it was locked out. As Dr. Anton Posniak has said, although this is not a viable large-scale strategy, these new findings reaffirm the belief that there is existing proof that HIV is curable. But how can this be applied to the masses? In California, as a result of Proposition 71, there have been three main groups who have researched this area of medicine. The first group being Sangamo Biosciences, with Dr. John Zaire being the lead doctor. The next group being Dr. Joseph Anderson, in association with um, UC Davis. And finally, Calimmune Incorporated. These three groups are all working towards a stem cell treatment that is not as invasive as a bone marrow transplant, which, as a treatment, wipes out your entire immune system, rendering you helpless, essentially, to any other diseases. They aim to find a cure that can be applicable to the masses, a cure that can help everyone affected by this disease, a cure that can help 37 million people. And within this 37 million people, there are the people that I grew up with in South Africa. And it is with this that I hope one day we can find a cure. Thank you very much.